Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about twin needles. I bought three different kinds. Let me show you right here. Each of them come with different sizes. As you can see, it is one needle connected with two needles at the bottom. Each of them have a gap in between to show you you know, the wider it is, the more space you will get when, once you start sewing uh, your clothes. I am going to use those twin needles to create a hem. I'm going to show you how to use it using the Brother LX. And it also comes with this footer right here. And I'm going to use this footer. This footer is not the best footer um, because in between projects, it likes to fall right after I am done. Um, back stitching a bit annoying but it is what I have so far and uh, we make it work <laughs> we're gonna put that in there make sure when you are putting your twin needle the flat side is always on the back so the rounded side is facing towards you and then you just rotate it through to tighten it okay so the twin needle won't fall while I'm continuing to do my project or won't interrupt me when I'm doing my project next thing is as you can see right here this is where the footer would be placed I have a specific type of footer that when I purchased the twin needle it came with this so I'm going to use that there's the little hook you attach the hook to the footer or the footer to the hook <laughs> now you place it down just like that so you'll see there's like a little hook area what you want to do is get the thread in that hook afterwards you're going to turn your handle towards you so it could rotate and your first stitch will occur but it won't stitch because there's no fabric and you you just want your thread to go up here goes underneath pull it see what's happening okay it's better with a single single needle a single needle here. is pull this all the way up this way if you're if you are using um bobbins two bobbins you might want to switch to one that's taller. I'm running out of thread, but it's enough for me to, to do my project. So we're going to put the first one through this here. And we're just gonna line it up like we normally do when we are sewing a single needle. Take this one, push it back. Now the first thread will always be hooked in right here. It will be threaded on the first needle to the left, my left side. Okay, now we're pulling it out. Come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> there we go. So here is my other bobbin. I'm going to place it on top of this. And then we are going to take this thread right here and we're going to line it up along with the other along with the other thread, same way. The only difference between your first thread and your second thread is hooked in right here, and the other thread is just loosed out. Do not get that mixed up. Don't put the second thread on the first one and don't put the first one on the second one because it might get tangled up and create friction and become a stressful process for you to sew it in. Tuck in the thread underneath, under the footer, and there you go. Now you have three, you should have three threads back there. Well, this is what I'm going to sew. I'm going to hem the bottom of this 
since I don't have a serger or a top stitch uh, machine, I'm going to use my double needle to create this double double lining. That's a top I've been working on. Keep in mind for this machine, when you sew, the like the pretty side will be on top, and the complicated side will be at the other side of this top fabric. Now I already pinned the top, the place where I'm hemming, and I'm using the place where I folded it, the edge, as a guideline to prevent myself from sewing into it and to get a, a more straighter line. So my tension is a 5 and I am sewing at a level 9 for stitch. And don't forget when you start sewing to use a um, reverse to go back to lock in your work. here it started well and then there is a loop my regular size needle um not regular the bigger one work best you see like wow 